Welcome back to another episode of Soul Aligned Success. Today I'm going to share with you what will set you apart from everybody else online, highlight you as an expert, and is like gold for your spiritual coaching business. So I just wanted to pop in here today and share with you the number one thing that you really have to align with and own in order to set yourself apart online, highlight yourself as an expert, and call in your soulmate clients that are here to work with you and is so valuable for your coaching business. And this, my friends, is your own story. So many spiritual teachers, healers, and light workers, especially hide from their story. And you've gone through so much. You've gone through it so that you could share it because you're here to lead by example. But so many people I see in the spiritual entrepreneurship community hide from the very thing that would help catapult them forward in their mission work and call in the people that are really meant to work with them. And so I'm going to share a few examples from my own story. Okay, so I am very candid. I have very distinct stories. Yay, so today we're going to dive in Yay, I'm so happy. All right, so today we're gonna dive in real quick to the number one thing that's gonna set you apart from everybody else online, highlight you as an expert, and is like gold and so valuable for your coaching business. And this is your unique story and your own transformation. This is what will call in your soulmate clients. They will gravitate towards you and be attracted to you when you can share from a place of authenticity and vulnerability and transparency. Now, keep in mind, I just wanna state as a caveat to this, there is a difference between vulnerability and oversharing. But if you're watching this and you're feeling guided to share part of your story or part of your transformation, but yet you sort of hide back in imposter syndrome or you don't share your message or you don't speak your truth for fear of sticking out or for fear of looking stupid or for fear of being criticized or whatever the case may be, this is one of the challenges that the light worker teacher and healer needs to overcome because you have gone through a very um, powerful healing journey and now you've come full circle in your transformation where you have you know now you're being called to share right so the student is now ready and the teacher has appeared and when this happens it can sort of feel like a deer in headlights because you're like wait what i have to go share all of the shit that i just healed or that i'm in the process of healing and coming out of and that i'm coming full circle in and now i have to share this you don't have to share everything but sharing your story authentically is the number one thing that's going to set you apart and again like i said there's a difference between being vulnerable and oversharing but i want you to think about this for a second i want you to pay attention to anybody that you see speaking when you see someone's on stage when you see an author talking about their book or anything like that right when i get invited to speak at an event or to speak on a podcast podcast what's the number one thing that i'm being asked I'm asked about my story, my transformation, how I got to where I am now, and this is what's gonna resonate with people. This is what's gonna call in the soulmate clients that desperately want the same transformation that you have already achieved, and your story is like gold, but yet it's the number one thing that most spiritual teachers, healers, and, and light workers hide from when they're first starting out. So I wanna share how powerful this is. So for example, when I would share about growing up with domestic violence, that would resonate with people just by me following the intuitive guidance to share 
and be open and vulnerable about my experience. And one of my students from my spiritual mentorship program shared with me just recently that she was scrolling through Instagram. She saw my story and she saw how I had transformed my life and that she saw that she had a very similar experience as I did. And she just looked at the post and she's like, yup, I want what she has. Whatever she did, I want that. Whatever, whatever she's doing over there is working for her, I want in, okay? Same thing with my holistic lifestyle transformational story where I share how I was always seeking some magic pill to be healthy outside of myself and I was doing all the things. I was eating organic, I was working out, I was doing you know, acupuncture, energy healing, lymphatic massage, massages, like all of the things, right? That you could, organic clean eating even, but yet I was still what I call the healthiest sick person that I knew. And it wasn't until I changed my lifestyle, I went to a naturopathic doctor one day and she looked at me and she said, well, you need to change your lifestyle. And then she rattled off a bunch of like, um, you know, supplements to take. And that sunk in what she said. And I came home, I didn't take any of the supplements because I was already too sensitive to them because I had like a million food allergies. My gut lining was completely tore up. I was full of inflammation. I had candida, I had IBS, I had SIBO, I had all the things. And so I didn't even take the supplements because I was barely able to even eat anything that I wasn't sensitive to, um, let alone these extra supplements that were just messing with my system. But I took what she said to heart and I changed my lifestyle. And I chose at that moment no longer to see myself as the victim, as a sick person, and I saw myself as healed. And I started to take control of my life. I started to meditate. I reduced my stress levels. And I started to purge everything out of my environment and my body that was not serving me. And I only allowed things in my environment that was serving me. And this is an example of me sharing my story right now. And when I share this story openly, whether it's on video or whether it's in a written post, this automatically turned to my ideal clients, the, my soulmate clients, reaching out to me in direct messages on Instagram and purchasing my program right out the gate. No discovery call, no sales call, no nothing. She just, they just reached out and was like, I need this. What do you charge? How do I get into your program? This is the power of sharing your story. You wanna be able to Share in a way that is an authentic and vulnerable and transparent and allows you to highlight yourself in all of your glory as the expert of your own transformation and of your own story. Because guess what? That's what people want help with. They want help going from A to Z with a particular problem and a transformation, right? That's what they want help with. And this is what I wanted to share with you today because this is something that so many spiritual teachers, healers, light workers, and spiritual entrepreneurs in general that are in this healing space hide from because they feel it discredits them somehow. Or maybe they still carry some level of shame with some of the things that they've grown through. And so really taking ownership and owning your story I have a story about my financial collapse. I have a story about my health decline, which I've bounced back from. Um, I have a story about my childhood, which I've bounced back from. My finances, I bounced back from. Like All of these different stories make me relatable and allow people to know that I have achieved a certain transformation in my own life and therefore I'm able to help them too. And that's what's gonna make your coaching business so powerful when you can own your story and not hide from your story. And so I'm going to leave you with a Rumi quote, which I love, 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 love Rumi. And Rumi said, the wound is your gift. And I want you to think about that for a second because she also said the wound is where the light enters you. And this is so powerful because so many people out there that are going through the same struggle and transformation that you have already come full circle in, they're in the thick of it and they think it's like, and to them in that moment, it is shit hitting the fan and it is a tower moment and I get that, right? But for someone like you to shine your light and show up in a place and say, wow, I'm getting chills right now, wow, 
I'm going through this, you've gone through this, and there's light at the end of the tunnel, and you you can show me how to how to go through this. That is super powerful. And the people that are going through the thick of it, what you've already grown through, that are several steps, maybe months, years behind you, find your transformational story as like a blueprint for their own success. They're able to look at that and see and say to themselves, wow, if it's possible for her, maybe it's possible for me. And so you signed up as a way shower. I'm sorry, but if you're watching this video and if you've clued, you've tuned into this video and you've watched it this far in, which is 10 minutes into this video, you've signed up as a way shower. Otherwise you would have clicked off already, right? And so owning your story is the most powerful thing that you can do. If I'm gonna leave you with a tip today to grow your spiritual business as a light worker, teacher, healer, coach, or messenger, way shower, that's leading this consciousness movement forward and uplifting and healing the planet, helping to raise consciousness, it is this. Don't hide from your story, share your story vulnerably, transparent, be transparent, be authentic, Share what you're feeling guided to share and know that none of it discredits you. It is all part of your success story and you are an expert of your own transformation. So when you do this, you automatically highlight yourself as an expert in your niche. And so this is very, very powerful. I just wanted to pop in here with this today. Please let me know if this resonates. Drop any comments below this video wherever you're watching it. And you can also find my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass, which if you are in the process of either building and or scaling your spiritual business and you want to have a foundation and a framework that's soul aligned from start to finish, meaning it's alignment, it's in a perfect alignment with not only your gifts, your stories, your unique talents, who you're here to serve, your mission, your message, and your lifestyle goals on the back end, then I welcome you to take my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass. And you can find that below this video or in the link um, in my bio on Instagram at Spiritual CEO. And I hope this finds you well. Until next time, namaste.